In this lecture snippet, I'm going to use a tool called Recover JPEG to recover JPEG images off of a device or a partition of a hard drive. And I use this tool quite a bit whenever it comes to cameras in particular with their SD cards or their compact flash cards. Every once in a while they go corrupt and people have asked, can you please recover these images that I have on my card? And I use this tool quite a bit for that because it is very simple, it's very easy, and it does just target the JPEG image. And so I'll install it here on Ubuntu so we can actually work with it. The command is very simple to install, just sudo apt-get install and then recover JPEG. And it's spelled J-P-E-G there at the end. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter, type in my administrative password, and actually go through the installation process. Now I do not have to run this command with any arguments or, or options at all, just straight recover JPEG and then the actual device itself will run this command. So it's very simple, very easy to use. I am going to point out that when we run this, whatever directory we have our terminal set to is where all of our images are going to be extracted to. So what I want to do is I'm going to navigate over to my desktop and then I'm going to go ahead and make a folder. So I'm going to do mkdir I'm just going to call it output. And that's where I want to actually have all my images extracted into. So what I'll need to do is navigate into that output folder so that when I run the command all my images go in this output folder. Now I also want to know what device it is that I actually want to extract the information from. So I'll run a sudo fdisk with a dash L to list all my hard drives and the partitions and I'm going to extract information out of this one here which is the Windows hard drive SDB1 so DEV SDB1 I'm going to come back here and do a clear and let's go ahead and type in this command like I said it's very simple it's just going to be recover JPEG but I'll need to run it as sudo since I'm working with a device interface sudo and then I'm going to go ahead and do recover JPEG I'm going to do the forward slash DEV forward slash SDB1 and that's the simple command that I'm going to have to run. Now notice that I did. I am in the output directory, so all of my output will go to this output directory. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter, and you're going to see that it's going to begin running the process of recovering JPEGs from this actual hard drive itself. And it's going to go through and tell you how far it's analyzed, so it does have a, a running progress indicator as well. So I'm going to let this run through and then come back when it's finished. Now this command is already finished and it only actually took a couple minutes for it to actually extract all 60 gigabytes and I can see that 470 pictures have been restored. If I open up the output folder I can see a list of all of the files that it actually extracted and there's quite a few JPEGs that it went through and actually extracted. Now notice they all have locks on them and that's because I ran the command as sudo. And so if I'm still here and I'm actually inside of the output folder where these images are, I could simply just run the change mod command. So it's sudo ch mod and then I'm going to do 777 and what I'll do is I'm just going to put an asterisk which will mean all the files and folders in the directory that I'm working with and hit enter and it's going to go through the process of changing everything. You see the locks have just disappeared on every one of those files. So I changed the permissions on every one of those images and that is simply it. We're using Recover JPEG to extract all of the JPEG images off of a drive. And I will tell you that I've used this on FAT16, FAT32, NTFS drives and it's worked very well on every drive.